Hey guys, um, as you can tell, I'm back up at the cottage. We'll put my glam gloves on. Scott got me these at Walmart. We never shopped Walmart until we moved up here. Now we're, seeing like we're in Walmart way too often. But he bought me these glam gloves so that I can wash dishes by hand because there's no dishwasher here. So I just thought I'd chit chat while we do dishes. And I'd tell you how my grandmother taught me to do dishes. I don't know if you find that interesting or not, but you always start with bowls and cups. That's just the way she taught me. So I took Piper yesterday and got her last shots. No more shots for a year. And I set up her appointment to be spayed um, next month. And the dogs have an appointment to go. They got to stay overnight on the next trip. Use heartworm prevention, people. It's well worth it in the long run. Um, it's very expensive if they get heartworms. All right. Never put sharp knives down in the water. Just wash them. I know you know anybody my age or older that says no. Kidding. That's just a no-brainer, but, you know, young people don't know. You have to tell them. All right, then she would tell me to put the silverware in and let it soak while you do the plates. So what's kind of neat is it's just the two of us, so it's two plates, two forks, you know. I think I actually have more forks than that this morning because I've made scrambled eggs. And this is a single sink and I have to use a wash basin and rinse the plates are off individually as I go. And I look to make sure I haven't left any food particles and rinse really well and I rinse my gloves so that I'm not leaving soap on there. I would actually bought the dish drainer at a yard sale for a quarter. And it's got the tray attached and everything. That one might need to set just a second. And I've got the water just as hot as it'll run. Um, the gloves actually protect my hands some from the heat because they're nice and thick. And that way I'm using really hot water to kill any germs or bacteria or any of that. That's the worst thing when you're doing food prep is being clean. You have to be clean about it. trying to get that so it'll stand up there. And I never submerge a wooden block. I just wash it off. And then rinse it. I'm set that in there. Okay. Now I'm going to do my silverware. I know this might be boring to some people, but I thought, well, it's a video. I haven't done a video in a while. Oh, I need to tell you guys about our visitor. We had a visitor at about 1 a.m. this morning. We could smell him. Yeah. That skunk came to visit. And uh, I don't know, I don't know skunk's behavior uh, very well, but I'm having a feeling they're kind of like cats and the males will spray. Is that... Am I right? Does anybody know about skunks? Let me know in the comments below. Do skunks act like cats in the breeding season and spray to mark their territory? I'm just curious now because, man, it was very stinky. Makes me want to <laughs> go to the expense of putting replacement windows that are like super thick in. A pet peeve of my grandfather's is my grandmother, <clears throat> she would just drain her dishes on, you know, kitchen towels. And if the spoon got left like this, it would have like that little bit of water residue in it, right? And my grandfather would see that and he would just absolutely raise an absolute fit about that. So you always had to put the spoon upside down on the, the toweling so there would be no... There would be no water residue to leave a spot. 
I've got my spoon here I measure coffee with. I just use a regular spoon, a tablespoon. I don't use measuring spoons to measure coffee. This is recycling. I've got to take that out on the porch, the recycling bins out there. And my grandmother always taught me that every surface is part of doing dishes. So you have to wash off, you know, all your surfaces. And then I've got my pots and pans. We had grits this morning. I might need to do that grit pan last because it's got... Scott had a red hot sausage. I don't like those, but he does. You know, they're, they're real red looking sausages. And he loves them. I just, ugh. I don't know. Something new you've learned about me. I don't like red hot sausages. Do you like red hot sausages? And he's got a particular brand he likes. He doesn't like, I think it's the Gamecock sausages. He doesn't like those. I don't think. This one might have to sit for just a few minutes. Might even have to use the green pad on it. Our funky coffee pot maker that we bought at uh, Ollie's. I'm just cleaning up some coffee residue from the grinder. I'm recycling a plastic container to hold our coffee that we grind every day. In case we get too much for the day, then it's covered. And I know you're supposed to use some fancy schmancy cleaner for these smooth top um, stoves, but I just use my dishwater and wipe it out. And I don't know how I'm going to get those grits out of there. Grits went wild. There we go. All right, so like I said, it doesn't take long to do dishes for just two people. And I'm getting really good at using just this pan to cook meals. One pan meals. I'm, I'm coming up with meals that I can do in one, maybe two pans. Because when you have this tiny a space, rolling out all your equipment's just not an option. <laughs> I don't have all my stuff either. I miss my KitchenAid mixer really, 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 really bad. Like, really bad. Adele had a um, repairman from Sears out yesterday while we were in Columbia still. And they're going to put a new thermostat in this refrigerator because it's not, it's not keeping things as cool as it should. All right, and that's my dishes. I don't think I got anything over on this little counter, but I'll wipe it just in case. Alright. Dump out my wash water. Then I've got just some lemon kitchen spray that I, I go ahead and clean the dish pan. My grandmother said the dishes will never get clean if the dish pan is dirty. And I wash the dish pan. Sometimes I'll put bleach in just to kill any nasty germs. And that didn't take too long, and I washed my coffee cup. And there's still some coffee there. I might get a, get another cup out and <laughs> have a seed for the the lunch dishes. Grandma used to say that that's a, when you create another dish. As soon as you're done with dishes, that's just your seed for the next batch of dishes. And then I spray the sink down where I run rinse water and dump the pan. And rinse the cloth out real good. And I wring it out real good. Now the fun part. See the left glove comes off eh, fairly easy. Maybe. <laughs> I think I need to put some more baby powder down in them. That's what I do to get them to loosen. Okay, there's one. This one never wants to come off. It sticks. <laughs> okay, 
I will get this glove off. You want to watch me pull on my glove for 10 minutes? No. <laughs> oh, for crying out loud. Okay, it's coming, it's coming. Oh. A blasted thing? Ah. Ah. Yay! Dish is done. Thanks for watching.